Hello, Life Path 6. Welcome to your August 2021 reading. I am feeling a lot of emotions in you guys' energy as a collective. If you are attracted to this video, then this is for you. Obviously, if you're into Life Paths, then this is a particular channel and a type of reading that you would understand and that your spirit guides want you to hear messages within these readings so take what resonates because you guys have a lot of um, particular messages this month so like i said if you're attracted to this then these these situations are probably within your realm and you will relate some of you for the month of august i'm just going to give you like the general messages i'm going to receive i don't feel like I need to go in order with you guys. I usually do like the beginning of the month, middle and end. I probably do another weekly reading for you guys as well because <laughs> you have an emotional roller coaster, my nurturing life path. You guys are nurturers and you guys have been nurturing everybody ahead of yourself for years, some of you decades. And some of you, from what I'm channeling, have met somebody new somebody that you have been seeing um this first part is for people that are in a relationship and we have been thinking about getting out of the relationship and have started another relationship with someone else and you're in between because you are getting very big messages of love and being discerning about the person that you're with and making sure you make the right decision when it comes to being with a mate see you have the um ten of cups in reverse which is telling me like you guys are starting to think about what really makes you happy in life and if what you used to think makes you happy is it still the things that make you happy and after the full moon and this beautiful eight eight moon this you know lion's gate portal some of you are going to have a hardcore spiritual awakening you got the death card these are major arcana so moon energy is coming in strong for you which is going to leave you in seven of pentacle mode just daydreaming daydreaming about a better life wondering is this real what is going on you're going to start seeing truths and things a lot different so maybe you're going to think about quitting your job and if you're thinking about quitting your job spirit is letting you know quit your job start new say yes to the next opportunity you're going to be letting go and increasing your awareness and you're going to start finding strength in new communities, new spiritual communities, new kind of communities that relate to you. And some of you, if you are seeing someone other than your spouse at the time, that is what you and this other person have in common. It's the spirituality and it's awakening in you and your counterpart is not giving you that that you have at home. I am sensing that some of these, some of you might be cheating with your twin flame and not even know it if this is um, new to you, that term, look it up and see if it resonates, these feelings that you have with this other person. For other singles, for other singles, for you guys that are single out there, you are going to go through an awakening as well and it's going to make you start looking at things differently and your social groups are the ones that you're going to start to part ways with you're going to start meeting your soul tribe you're going to start looking at things differently and you're going to elevate into another timeline and you're not going to be able to relate to the same people anymore you're starting you're going to start going into your life path of a nurturer you're going to want to nurture the community and you're going to start seeing the bigger picture that's the beautiful thing about you guys is that you see the bigger picture where people see a feather you see a beautiful peacock and all of the feathers and glory of what it is it is more than just you know the, the, the feathers it's a beautiful magnificent bird that's how you guys look at things and you're also really really attractive and some of you are not gonna be feeling in power you're not gonna be feeling like a leader you're gonna you know all some of your energy is gonna be depleted and it's because of these toxic relationships i.e a spouse or i.e friend so yeah some of you are gonna have to change up the environment that you're in and that is what's keeping you stagnant from living the fullest happiest life that you want to live what you used to think was made you happy are just not going to be the things that make you happy anymore and you're gonna have to upgrade that because you're gonna have to find power your solar plex chakra might be a little black this month which has to do with power and believe in your gut and going with your gut 
Spirit wants you to walk away, start new. This is like big messages. You're you're beautiful like your sun, your shine, your your beginnings, your start is on delay because of all of these rebirth you're gonna have to go through in the month of August. So five of swords, that's the sort of battle and so you might be going through this conf some of these conflicts already, but it's okay. Just keep strong. You will get through it. Know that whatever decision you make is going to be the best decision for you and it's going to make you happy. Whatever, like if you choose to change your circle and you start meeting new friends, the other friends that you're going to start to walk away from are not going to be happy. They're going to be the ones that you're going to be doing battle with. They're not going to be happy for your new business partnership, your new relationships. They're not going to be giving you that same love because they're jealous because you have kind of like piece them out of your life you're starting to come into your own but you know you gotta do you you gotta do what makes you happy you gotta do for you so heavily this month you guys have to work on your root chakras because you're gonna have a little bit of anxiety because of course you're changing timelines and things are gonna start looking different your third eye chakra because you're gonna start seeing stuff your third eye is gonna be opened up and your heart chakra because you're going to have to make sure you're making stuff decisions that are coming from your heart. You are no longer going to be, this is what's going to start to um, soothe out your root chakra. Because when you're living in root chakra, like that's blocked, you're just living in within your head. You're living within your brain. You're making decisions all from your brain. No feelings, just all material survivor mode stuff. You, my friends, are going to start looking at things and making decisions from your heart center. That's what being spiritual awakened is. Making decisions coming from your heart, from your gut, from your center calmness. Not that noisy brain, but your beautiful loving heart. And you guys are going to start making decisions from your heart that's best for you. So you can come here and uplift humanity. You want to uplift humanity. You want to, like some of you like social workers and you met somebody that like is into that so perfect with you. And it's just, you know, it's beautiful. Don't. You know, walk away find the love you need find the peace and center and calm and we are also in saturn retrograde and saturn is all about teaching you lessons and making sure you learn your lessons before you could go to the next evolution of life before you could get your manifestations you have to learn your lessons you know you're not going to give your kids a reward for something if they haven't if, if they brought you home a d they gotta bring you home an a so for the next couple months work on getting that a from the universe and a lot of you are going to because you're going to just follow your heart and you're going to live your best life and you are going to dare to be different. So, you know, you got to be different sometimes. Be different and be happy. And Spiro wants you to know happy days are here. So don't worry if you got to you get in a little bit of fights with people. They don't serve you anymore. You're about to be leveling up. You can't level up what people still there at the bottom i always like to think of that crab analogy like a bunch of crabs in a bucket when one tries to climb out of the bucket all the rest of the crabs try to drag that one out the bucket I'm like what the hell is up with that do not be that crab that gets dragged back down call out the bucket anyways let's a fine important date for you for the month Ooh. now we have two but this is past Two. I mean, when I'm <laughs> when I'm releasing this is going to be after August second. So I am going to say two two August twenty second. Look out for August twenty second. That's what I'm feeling. August twenty second. All right, guys. If you're not following me, please do. And I feel you guys are in a beautiful transformational part of your life right now. So. I make these beautiful necklaces they are handmade and I bless them under the new moon as well as the full moon to help with transformations and seeing things um, clearly and balancing your energy so if you like to purchase the link is in the description and it'd be a really nice way to support me as well as you know and my endeavors and show appreciation thank you so much you guys have a blessed day bye